Clouds today. Shouldn't see the sun begin to break through tomorrow. Uh, we may even see, start, start to see some holes in the clouds later this evening, but tomorrow should be a sunnier day and a warmer day, at least back in the 70, uh, you know, 75 to 80 degree range or so. So warmer weather's on the way. I don't think we'll get too warm this week, but a lot of days kind of up there around 80 or so or you know, plus or minus a few degrees, but mainly dry this week. It's possible that the clouds may thicken up at times later in the week and give you a sprinkle or two, but uh, no significant precipitation expected this week. So you know, spring break, it's you know, on a scale of one to 10. It's, it's at least an eight, right? If you don't have to work, it's always a 10. But so you get out and enjoy it no matter what. But 63 degrees in Westlaco right now, 65 in Brownsville and 64 in Raymondville and temperatures haven't made it out of the 60s today. We still have a northerly wind at the surface, bringing down the cool temperatures. It's not a strong wind, but you felt the northerly breeze pick up some yesterday and temperatures have been cool since then with a lot of clouds. 10 miles per hour, the wind speed in uh, Brownsville, McAllen, or sorry, Brownsville, Westlaco and Edinburgh. Now this evening, clouds will probably be around much of the time. You might start to see some thinning of the clouds towards sunset and a few holes in the clouds at times. And I don't know what happened to the 11 o'clock temperature. <laughs> it was there. I swear it was. Uh, temperatures should be about 62 is why I typed in 11. I think maybe the 11 o'clock temperature went on spring break. We'll get back to that. Uh, satellite radar though shows clouds across the valley. You see some holes up north of Falfurias and then uh, there's some clearing at times behind that. So we should see maybe a little bit of sun just before sunset. And now the sun sets an hour later since the time change. So, you know, you get that extra hour of light in the evening. Uh, so as always, get out and enjoy that too. Future track overnight shows again the clouds kind of thinning out some as the night goes on. You may see some patches of clouds or fog towards sunrise if we clear out enough. You know, the ground's still kind of moist, winds will be light, but shouldn't be very much fog if there is any tomorrow morning. And then Tuesday, you see mostly sunny skies come back tomorrow. The winds will be fairly light tomorrow, but switch more from the northeast to gradually more from the southeast or east later in the day. And then tomorrow night, we're kind of mainly clear to partly cloudy with maybe some patchy clouds toward morning. And Wednesday, you kind of see the flow in the atmosphere start to come back from the south. That could bring back some clouds at times, but I think Wednesday is still uh, kind of a mostly sunny day. May cloud up a little bit more at times in the afternoon, more of a partly sunny sky, but still a day when it gets up close to 80 degrees or so. But the humidity will be inching its way up the next few days too. So it felt kind of refreshing yesterday and this morning, but the humidity kind of uh, on a slow climb the next couple of days across the valley. But you don't see any rain on the map through Thursday. Clouds again, though, could thicken at times during the day as the humidity increases. So a Thursday is another day when maybe in and out of some clouds mixed with the sun, but still a fairly bright day, not one of those, you know, completely gray days. Tonight, temperatures drop through the 50s late tonight down to about the mid to upper 50s by morning. Again, you may see some clouds hanging around from time to time and some patchy fog, but uh, some holes in the clouds are possible. And then tomorrow, more sunshine breaks through. Highs near 78 degrees. If there are some clouds left over in the morning, they should be begin to... I guess get out of here pretty quickly. And your first 1570 forecast temperatures, you know, the average high this time of year is about 80. So we'll be close to that most days. The humidity will come up some, especially by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So the lows will be back, back in the 60s and maybe a little breezy at times uh, from about Thursday or Friday on through early next week. And that little jumping guy there is. Uh, That's you. <laughs> That's, <laughs> hey, it looks like me. Am I in my green pajamas there? Uh, I think you are. I don't know. I've never seen you in That's, green uh, pajamas, Alan. <laughs> That's uh, St. Patrick's Day on Friday. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Make sure you wear green. And Letty's back. I'm, just... I'm back. I'm so happy to be back. It's great. I, it was a crazy six weeks, but I made it out alive. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for early detection. Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely. So I'm glad you're back. I, I missed all these good conversations. With you I know. We have so much fun. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. It's great to be back, Valley. And to my beautiful Alan. <laughs> all right.